Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. SDHC versus SDXC. Chris just bought one of these Lexar Professional 128 gig, 133 speed, class 10 SDXC cards. If this was an SDHC, the only difference between the two would be that the SDHC would only be possibly 32 gigs. This is a difference because of the file system that's used on the cards. XC cards use XFAT, EX FAT, that was a Microsoft file system, and SDHCs use the non proprietary FAT32 system. The problem with FAT32 is it doesn't support some of the large drive sizes and it doesn't support large files on the drive. So you can only have a 4 gig file limit on FAT32. So with the T2i camera that I use, you record at almost 50 megabits per second, and 12 minutes is 4 gigabytes. Well, if you had a 128 gig drive with XFAT that would support large files as large as the size of the drive, you could get 32 times as much recording as you do on the FAT32 drive. So instead of 12 minutes, you're going to get 32 times 12 minutes, which is going to be 360 plus minutes, which is going to be about six hours. So a huge difference in the amount of time that you can record. That's about the only difference. They both use the same control formats, they both use the same voltages, they're both the same form factor. You can stick one into the other's card slot and it will still detect, as it were. Um, and XC compatible devices are all backwards compatible with HC compatible devices and the original SD devices. They are not all forwards compatible, however. So you can't necessarily put an SDXC in your old SD camera.